Uh, I'm Dr. Robert Gray. I'm co-sponsor of The 48 Hour and I'm a professor of film and creative writing at UMB. The film Colt from day one was excited about this and they've been great collaborators for this and that's one of the biggest pieces of what I've been trying to do with this is to bridge what's happening at the university with what's happening in Fredericton and in New Brunswick and, and building that together. Uh, and people are just generally super excited to be involved. Uh, it started, we're going into our fifth year of it. Um, it started when I first came to Fredericton and it was a way to get local filmmakers uh, well, it was a way to give them a deadline, get them making films. Friday at 5 o'clock, teams come down to the, usually the film co-op is where we start, and teams come in, we have the, the big assembly room, we have everybody lined up, uh, we kind of give some preparatory remarks, and basically teams randomly choose from a hat from the inspiration packages they submitted as application materials. Uh, and at that point, at usually like, like maybe 5, 10 p.m. on the Friday, they'll have their inspiration items, and they'll know their delivery time for Sunday, 5, 10 p.m., say. Uh, and so they have the weekend to do whatever they want with in terms of delivering it, they just have to be sure they deliver the film on Sunday, 48 hours later. Most teams, um, once they pick up their inspiration package on Friday night, um, usually spend the Friday night brainstorming, coming up with their script, their basic script idea. And most teams spend Saturday doing the bulk of their shooting. Um, usually trying to be done by midnight, one would hope. When I first moved to Fredericton, I was from the West Coast originally, and I'd done the 48-hour competition. There used to be a 48-hour competition up there, and I, I thought it'd be fun to sort of bring it here. When I came here, it became an opportunity to get people meeting people, uh, people uh, joining teams they might not have worked with before, giving them a deadline to get something done, and to just show people that film, you know, show people that, that a variety of films can be made here. Teams come in on Sunday night and deliver their films. Um, the time they, the order they deliver in, so no matter how they went out on Friday, generally they come in in a wholly different order on Sunday, no matter what their due, their due times were. Every team, every year, says that they wish they wish that they did spend more time, save more time for the edit. That's usually the place where teams trip up a little bit. Uh, but Sunday's usually the edit, and often teams racing to the deadline, burning the film on a DVD on their laptop in the car as they race to the fort to, down to the film co-op. Uh, it's usually how the weekend goes. Somewhere along in there, I visit and bring Timbits and you know make sure everybody's still alive. And the order we, we get them on Sunday is the order we screen them, usually on the Tuesday night. Uh, and so we have a big theater space that we're in, and we screen them in the order that they came in for judging and for audience choice award and for, for other prizes. Every year the judges become more and more impressed with the level of, of, of the films that are being created. They, they, some of the films are just amazing. And, and so we're particularly, in the last couple of years, a few of the films have done well at festivals, particularly at Silver Wave. And so this year we're automatically submitting all the films to Silver Wave so that they can be hopefully considered for it. Uh, but also encouraging filmmakers to, to submit to other festivals. Uh, so that the films get out there and they get a wider audience. The, the great thing for me as an educator is watching over the four years I've been here, people I know as students who jump into the competition and how by the, you know, the four years we've run it now, I've seen several groups of filmmakers do two or three films, seen them grow as, fil as filmmakers, seen them really realize that they can make, they can do this on their own. They don't need a competition, they don't need some crazy equipment package, they can actually just go make a film over the weekend with friends. And I think that changes the face of filmmaking here and I think that's been the most inspirational thing for me.